The Raymarine ST1000 and ST2000 tiller pilot have an inherent flaw. The drive rod has no limiter, so when the drive rod reaches the end of its stroke, either the outward stroke or the inward stroke, it hit parts of the unit at full torque. On the inward stroke the gearbox bearing housing is destroyed and this is the result. On the outward stroke, the white collar hits the aluminium flange, bends and distorts it, and then uh, cracks and breaks the uh, black uh, collar, which is the mount for the water seal. As you can see, this has been repaired. The aluminium flange was straightened up in a vise, and the uh, uh, collar was re-glued together with epoxy. But continued ramming from the white uh, uh, collar meant that uh, the repair didn't work. Water comes in here, gets into your compass or gets into your motherboard and that's the end of your unit. So this is a very very uh, uh, important part. Here is the limiting system that I've made up. Two micro switches limit the stroke on the outward stroke and also the inward stroke and it solves all of the problems that this unit has. This unit is made up of a base which is made out of laminex or formica to be as thin as possible. Uh, there are three 8mm holes and a 9mm hole that are drilled to locate the base onto the lugs. Uh, so there's no, this whole unit is a drop-in unit. There's no screws to be screwed in or anything to be glued in. Um, the base has uh, a couple of supports that are screwed to the bottom of it. One of the supports mounts a micro switch and the other support is to stop the base from flexing. Uh, this is the electrical components. Uh, all the joints are soldered up so there's uh, no problems with things coming apart. Here are the components that make up the loom. There's um, two Omron micro switches, two diodes, three pieces of 140 millimeter long wire and two three millimeter spades. These are the micro spades, one male and one female. And these are all soldered together to make up the uh, uh, wiring unit. The complete base with the wire loom fitted, the two uh, base supports fitted, uh, the vertical micro switches for the inward stroke limit and the horizontally mounted micro switches for the outward stroke limit. Uh, that's activated by a trigger. This is the uh, outward stroke limiter slide. It has a trigger fitted to it, uh, but took a lot of experimentation to get the uh, shape and the strength of the ticket trigger right. Here you can see some of the triggers that I actually experimented with. I uh, tried to make them as low profile as possible, but to get them as strong as possible. I made about seven and the final rod is not in, uh, the final trigger is not within these, these pitches here. This is the uh, outward stroke limiter slide. It has a trigger fitted to it, uh, but took a lot of experimentation to get the uh, shape and the strength of the ticket trigger right. I'll go through the process of uh, installing the unit. First of all, you have to uh, disassemble the unit. Eight screws at the back and the face comes off. Three screws on top of the motherboard and the motherboard uh, flicks off out of the way disconnect the black and the red wires to the motor and uh, uh, pull out the whole motor gearbox drive unit then you're ready to install the um, um, limiting switch unit
Uh, here you'll see me adding three small plastic wedges. Uh, this locates both the base and the uh, sliding trigger uh, to, to stop it from popping up and uh, keep the uh, correct pressure down on it, all the parts. There's the rear wedge, the center wedge, and then there's a wedge that goes across the post which has the added job of holding the return spring down at the same time. These all just slip on. You made it this far thanks for your patience um, I'm going to make a, another uh, YouTube with the full construction of this with uh, drawings material lists uh, alternative um, construction ideas that you can use to make it up uh, it is time-consuming there's a, a, a lot of fiddly stuff involved in it but uh, well worthwhile if you don't have the time and uh, you think this is a reasonably good uh, a solution for a problem that you might have or can see coming along down the road. I've made 10 of these up. Uh, two of them are for the guys in the, uh, my marina. They were they saw what I was doing when I showed them and uh, they were really interested, so they've gone. So I've got eight of these I've made up and if anyone's interested, you can contact me and uh, we can work something out. Not expensive at all. More This was more of a, um, a challenge and a hobby than uh, a um, multi-million dollar business venture. Okay, so I hope this was uh, useful to you. Uh, this will work post, uh, if, after you have the problem, or if you're seriously doing an ocean crossing or something like that and worried about the um, uh, longevity of your uh, uh, ST1000, ST2000, I really recommend doing something like this before you even start out. Um, this is uh, a problem that will occur like the destruction of both ends of the unit and this is a solution to that problem okay all the best